Look at that awesome moon. Here's the fox has moved. Cobwebs, spider webs inside the old fox burrow. Well, I hope the wind in the trees, the sound of the traffic nearby, isn't coming through too bad. Having a conversation on a video someone else put up. I'm not going to go into it about it. But, uh, an argument about uh, people of faith, people that believe in God, towards religious people, are danger to society because of all the terrible things they do in the name of their religion. Well, let's not mention what humanists and secularists have done uh, yes many bad things have been done in the name of religion various various reasons that you look deeper into find out weren't really good reasons that someone who really believes the God of the Bible would do. It's ignorance that causes those things. Not one's faith in a God. It's ignorance and blind following of misleading and lying individuals. That's what the devil does, he perverts things. Turns faith in a God into a religion full of propaganda to get people to do certain things for false reasons. Thinking that they're gonna get some kind of redemption or salvation for their sins by doing these things. But you see, Christ didn't teach that. Christ didn't teach any of that. Anyone that knows the scriptures knows this. Having faith in God, belief in Christ, does not make one anti science, nor does uh, it make one an unreasonable person. For there are reasons. There are rational reasons for faith and belief in higher power. There are testimonies of people from all over the world, shared experiences with said higher power, whatever you choose to call him, her, it. See, it doesn't have a sex. Just all encompassing, omnipresent, omnipotent force that binds everything together in the first place. Existence is the uh, male and female parts revealing themselves the positive, negative. Neither one are evil. Evil is the perversion of good. It's a bad image. It's a bad reflection. It's a faulty fluorescent light bulb. That's an analogy. I'm 
I just take it to some people will know. It's one of the places people load the trash. It's okay. They, there's a group that comes and picks it up here. They'd rather they throw it there than there. But the fence will keep it in here, so. I've already got my sack full today. I'm out of them. I didn't carry enough bags with me. I never do, seems like. I didn't used to. One bag would be enough. Get on you high school students. Use this path a lot going to and from school. The store and the school. School, store, home. Pack out your trash. Don't run it for everybody else. It's your future you're messing up. Thank you all. Hope you all have a good day. Peace, love, and understanding. Be with you all. Well, let me say. Like the deer passed this way rather recently. What do you think, Abby? Lovely day, getting close to 70 degrees here. <laughs>